We're gonna be taking a look at the, the I was gonna say the subreddit. I don't know. I've been watching too much YouTube. We're looking at the Discord, the suggestions, the community voicing their opinion on the game. As you all know, if you see my last video. We're less than a month out until the closed beta for Crab Champions. The long awaited journey is finally almost to not an end, but you know, to a checkpoint, a major checkpoint in the development and being able to play the game. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, with that on the horizon, let's look at some of the best things that have been suggested for the game since the last dev update. We're feeling good. We got the five guys shake. Mm. I ordered Oreo and got chocolate. It's still good though. <sighs> Give me a second, chroma key on. There we are. Look at that technology. Although I should definitely not be on this side. October 1st was the last dev update, dev update 20. We did have a mini update in mid October, but that wasn't official. wasn't on the steam page. A lot of good suggestions by the community, but what do the people want in this game? Everyone knows it's a roguelike, an action third person roguelike where you play as a crab. You collect weapon mods, grenade mods, and perks. You start at Island 1, you go until you lose. Until you die. Although you can't technically just end a run after beating the boss battle around level 50 to 60. Level, island, whatever you want to call it. But that's the gist. Anyway, make Tony rideable. Tony is the shopkeeper. Let me pull up a picture. Let's find it. Boom! That's Tony. Look at that man. Tony's the shopkeeper. Uh, the shops have been reworked a lot over the course of the years and over the course of uh, really the last like six months. But Tony the shopkeeper will exist. There will be shop islands and he will be the man with a plan selling you items. So people are saying make him rideable. I like that. I'm going to give it a little reaction there. Uh, crab skins should be a thing. Someone said this a while ago. I said, yep, they are. The colors, not entirely new models. There have been a lot of suggestions for entirely new models as unlockable skins obviously typically skins are just like a different colorway or an animated color for an existing three-dimensional model in a video game but by like fortnite or different halo armors you know that it can definitely be more than that it can be a completely different 3d model and people want it to my knowledge and what noise storm has said publicly it's not really going to happen or at least not initially maybe sometime along i don't know summer of 2023 well into the uh, early access period, we might see some new crab models, but initially, definitely not. And that kind of just is what it is. Crab shoes, each leg can have different shoes. So this is a running uh, thing that we see a lot of different people asking for various cosmetic items that are probably not gonna make it into the game. Again, at least not initially. Noise has uh, continued to kind of take the approach that like, look, these are all great suggestions. I just can't do it now, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to do it. But he does hear us as a community loud and clear that like different customizable items and assets, hats, outfits, different models, shoes, carrying items, like just different accessories, like they've all been suggested. He hears it, it's probably not going to happen, at least not initially. But they are good suggestions. Different shoes would be cool. I mean, crabs have eight legs at least, right? Maybe ten. How many legs does a crab have? Question mark. Ten. Oh, man, I, dude, that's lying. That's lying. It's eight plus the claws. Those aren't legs. They don't put those down and walk on them. What a liar. Son of a bitch. Fuck out of here. It's eight legs, two claws. Anyway, modder's gonna have a field day. That's that's a good point too. Noise has made no effort or attempt to dissuade modding he's been specifically in favor of modding or rather he's not going to go against modders he's not going to crack down on people using in-game assets he's gonna let people run wild I, theoretically there will be steam workshop compatibility i'm not really sure what the technical requirements for that are i'm not sure if he's building that in appropriately i have no idea how that stuff works but it sounds like he wants to and it sounds like we have some people in the community. Damn it, I'm, I'm like gonna do someone a disservice here, but there are modders in the community. There are definitely modders in the community. And that's a good thing. People that know the technical side of things that are going to bring some of these extra features into the game. Because look, it's a PC game initially. Look, consoles are gonna come, hopefully, eventually. He wants to bring them, but it's not gonna be anytime soon. I mean, this is like holiday 2023, like a full year from now, maybe 2024. Or maybe he gets a third party uh, porting company involved, a, a, a dev team that takes games for PC and brings them to console. Not sure if he wants to do that. He definitely seems to want to do this solo and totally within his rights to do that. But yeah, 
Since it's not on console, we're on PC. We can see the files, we can mod the game. And because of that, people are gonna have some fun. Smarter people than me are gonna have some real fun and we're gonna see a lot of additional customization options and things like human skin, hands and feet, which is so cursed and disgusting. But hey, we're probably gonna see it. Kill cam for dual mode, dual mode's not really in the game. There is the 1v1 kind of, you know, take on your uh, co-op teammates in the pit. That's a thing, but not real dual mode kill cam. We'll see if that's a thing. And it is a good suggestion though, by DU King. Okay, this is a first uh, example so far of this recording of someone suggesting a different emote. Well, this is not really like a crazy good suggestion for the game. It's more of a suggestion for the Discord community. This brings an opportunity for me to say, hey, look, uh, I'm a streamer. I stream a lot on Twitch. I haven't streamed a lot recently. There are a lot of stuff going on in personal life and uh, just figuring out things with content but i will be streaming soon to figure out my emotes because we're kind of transitioning tra oh, whatever that word was transitioning away from rocket league content into grab champions content I'll still play some Rocket League, I'll still play Variety as a whole, but we're gonna be focused on Crab Champions. I'm really enjoying this game, it really excites me. And uh, Mr. Krabs is quite the character. I've already taken the liberty to whip up a bunch of different emotes that I think would be really fun for the Twitch channel and my Discord. And uh, I want you guys to give your input as part of the community. I, I don't wanna just be like, oh, these nine are the ones I'm gonna use no matter what. Like, I wanna use what people actually wanna see. But we gotta narrow it down. Yeah, we got some duplicates different variations of the same one which ones cover the widest variety of emotions and I would love for you guys to be part of that so please join my discord I will be announcing when this stream happens and we will be doing a ton of deep diving into all these emotes figuring out what works best as twitch emotes anyway moving back on to the crab champions discord crab champions VR sounds like a great way to induce self great way to get self induced motion sickness so a lot of people have said like hey what about VR look <laughs> best place to experience a crab champions like game where you're flipping around as a crab is not in VR so it's a fun uh, suggestion but unless he reworked the game from the ground up to be VR focused just porting that shit to VR not gonna work tons of motion sickness tons of flipping around camera movement it's gonna be awful he's definitely not going to do it ever maybe the modding community steps in but again doesn't really seem worth it gonna shoot that one down on his behalf it's not a good idea you just gotta trust me. For this suggestion, someone said that he's been a fan for a while and brings up things like various parrying animations. Talks about Genji and Overwatch, for example, and just wants to know like how do shields and parrying and deflection come into play? So this is honestly more of a question as opposed to a suggestion, but it's still fun to talk about. And Noise says, you know, there's a lot of dodging and manual shielding was in the game for a while, but ultimately felt more fun to use speed of movement. So the shield was, uh, you know, it was removed. There's also various perks like repelling dash, which repel projectiles when you dash. Pretty self-explanatory there. But then he says, you know, I do agree. It'd be nice to have more parrying related stuff without complicating the main gameplay loop. A bunch of the more involved planned perks have grapple slash parry mechanics. So this is pretty important actually. He's acknowledging one, we can expand upon this movement system. Right now we've got jumping, flipping, dashing, melees, shooting your gun. It's kind of it. That's not bad, but that's kind of it. And he's acknowledging it. Parrying would be a good way to uh, expand upon that. And he's also giving us a hint that some future perks have grappling and parrying mechanics. Here's another good suggestion. People are asking for various songs in the soundtrack, especially Crab Rave. I get it. It's an obvious suggestion. The whole game is being created because Crab Rave was a thing. Noise likes crabs. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it uh it can't be right copyright exists monster cat they're not gonna really copyright strike people they're they're pretty reasonable but they do technically hold the, the you know the copyright they hold it but he's making multiple album soundtrack and i've touched on this before and i it's worth touching on again he's got it covered me and others have suggested goofy dances like this this is actually from a uh from the from another crab related game called Another Crab's Treasure. We got the little crab doing the generic Fortnite dance. And a lot of people have said various dances and emotes. Emotes are coming, but we haven't seen it. 
we've seen potentially like one, maybe two during the beginning sections of the reveal trailer and the gameplay trailer. We're not sure what these are gonna look like, but he has promised and repeated and said publicly that there will be emotes. And just like the skins in the game, they will be gameplay unlockable. You gotta complete challenges to get these things, but you don't have to pay extra and there are no microtransactions. It's not pay to win, it's not pay to unlock cosmetics. It's pay $10 in the beginning, you get the game and you're good to go. Some people bring up race mode here or there. They're thinking about different ways that race could be implemented back into the game. But as we know, race mode is not, not really part of the game anymore. It is likely going to come back at some point in the early access period as a form of time trials, a mini sub game mode. It's on the bottom of the list of things to do but it is there. And here, a global leaderboard would probably help and make it a little bit more competitive. And people have actually brought that stuff up too, which is a great segue into like just generic ways that we can track and make things more competitive as a community. Obviously, this is gonna be a very tight-knit community of a game, but it's a roguelike. That's not necessarily a competitive game by nature, but it's already very clear that the people in this Discord, myself included, we're gonna make it competitive in a fun way, but in a, in a fucking competitive way. We're gonna have leaderboards, so don't worry if you're thinking, where, you know, what kind of leaderboards are gonna exist? Noise has acknowledged and wants to have leaderboards for, uh, like, what's the highest island you've made it to? You know, how far have you survived? Kind of like a uh, COD Zombies, you know, the highest round, right? And then, uh, beating certain difficulties the fastest, right? Time trials in that aspect. Those will exist, and if they don't exist in the game at the beginning in beta, people are gonna mod them, or at the very least, we're gonna have channels in the Discord over here tracking those things. Here, again, is kind of uh, adding on to what I just said. There will be multiple new channels, such as First Impressions, so any new discussion should be distributed a bit better than a single channel. Because right now, there's this beta section over here, releases, and obviously there's nothing here. I suggested raid bosses eventually. I know it's uh, different. It's probably not gonna happen, but you think about like Destiny or even like a little bit of Borderlands or other games like raid bosses where it's a specific special boss enemy that you go in and you have to complete different challenges and puzzles and eventually get to the full boss fight and it's like special reward maybe a maybe a seasonal thing that would be cool we already know that there's boss enemy variants for all the different types of enemies but raid bosses are a whole new level i know that that would definitely follow under or fall under the category of things that you would think about like deep into the early access period, like summer 2023, but it's a good suggestion. I'm not the first person to say it, and I'm not gonna be the last. This person, Kohler, has asked, you know, I hope it can run well. Hope I don't get FPS delay or lags. And then uh, Raven nicely pasted in the quote-unquote minimum specs on the Steam page. Those are outdated, right? I mean, we're looking at, uh, you know, Intel HD 4000 graphics, which is like very old at this point. Six gigabytes of space. Those will be updated, but at the end of the day, Noise Storm has continued to say, and it seems like he will continue to say, that if your computer can run 3D applications, it can probably run Crab Champions. The game is not going to be big. It is not going to be intensive. If you have a graphics card, you're chilling. Dragon Warrior who uh, apparently talks in third person, pretty funny. Dragon Warrior's suggestion is as follows. Implement different breeds of crab, each with their own unique abilities. The idea does not quite constitute classes, more so power-ups that can be used. For example, horseshoe crabs can do damage reflection type defense. Fiddler crab can do massive guillotine melee chomp. You know, he's kind of getting into the idea of classes. I know he's saying like, these aren't classes, but yeah, they kind of are, they kind of are. Video games handle classes differently and a class system within crab champions where each type of crab has a, a different ability like that could exist i don't know but he has kind of talked about these things or at least acknowledged that this is an option to take and i'm not going to be able to give a perfect answer on this but i'm not going to say this is like completely out of the question but i am going to say this would be like a 2024 type idea like you know, he clearly wants to flesh this game out he's focusing on the roguelike survival mode but he knows that there's other ways that this game could be enjoyed and he wants to flesh it out towards those ways but not until he gets survival mode nailed down do one thing right then expand upon it don't do a bunch of shit awful you don't want to be a master of none right anyway i'm rambling these have been the best suggestions of the last handful of months hopefully this video was important and uh informative to you guys consider liking if you're still watching at this point clearly like the video so hit the like button it does help me out i know algorithm blah 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 it helps i promise consider subscribing if you like crab champions it's what this channel is focusing on so uh do it <laughs> almost the holidays 
almost the closed beta. Another week closer. I'm getting excited. Hope to see you guys soon. Hope to see you in the streams. Hope you're excited for the game. Deuces.